is a junk professor at Montclair State University, Dan Gelcher. Dan, great to see you today. I'm so excited to, to talk to you about all this business uh, information and stories. So what do you make of the Federal Reserve survey? How do you see Trump's economic policies playing out? Well, it's interesting now how all of a sudden we're concerned about the national debt, 36 trillion and rising. Come on. So, so is the debt a serious problem? Yes, but it's been a serious problem for a long, long time. As far as all this discussion about tariffs and what the impact of that is going to be, look, I believe what Donald Trump is really saying here is, is that there's too much unfair trade. And the use of tariffs, tariffs are a tool, the use of tariffs is all about leveling the playing field. So I don't think that people need to get so concerned about what the impact of that is going to be on inflation. Let's see how the threat of tariffs is going to play out on the world stage. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, let's talk now about a lawsuit against Target accusing the company of violating Illinois Biometric Information Privacy Act by collecting facial scans without permission. So Target tried to have the case dismissed, arguing plaintiffs were using news reports to base their claims. However, the judge disagreed and the judge ruled the plaintiffs arguments uh, were valid enough to move forward. So, Dan, how big of a blow is this to a, a major retailer like Target? They've had issues before. Well, it's, it's certainly a bad look. But but look, all of us have really lost a lot of our privacy in the name of convenience because we don't want to wait we want things faster and as a result we've given up a lot of those precious privacies that we have in this particular case it's about how we haven't given consent the consumer hasn't given consent about how these biometric uh, facial scans are going to be used. So this is going to be a very, very interesting case for the future. Depending on who wins, this is going to impact perhaps other retailers and others that are thinking about using this. It makes a lot of sense. And even though those, if we do give our consent, usually we, we're signing something, we check off a box and there's all this verbiage that we don't even read. And then we, we give our consent. We're like, what? Are, I don't even know what I just agreed to. Um, but so I want to move on now to this. A lot of people seem to be hitting the box office lately. Uh, Universal's Wicked ranked in at $114 million <laughs> during its domestic opening, reportedly the highest debut of a Broadway adaptation in cinematic history. History. Meanwhile, Paramount's Gladiator 2 opened to more than $55 million in domestic ticket sales. So a lot of people say Netflix or Hulu are, would end up killing theaters, but we're seeing numbers like this. What's your reaction? Are you more going to theaters or wait until it comes out, um, you know, online or on Netflix? Well, I rarely go to the theater, and, and for me, streaming has really been the game changer because other than you don't get to see the, the films perhaps right away, but eventually they're all coming to streaming, and there's plenty of other things to watch, so that's me. However, going to the theater is certainly a different experience, and I'm glad to see that people are getting out and, and supporting these films, and, and quite frankly, it, it's an, a very nice escape. Yeah. It's all about the experience, too, especially if you have kids. But then you end up spending a million dollars in popcorn. But anyways, <laughs> last but not least, all right, so McDonald's is changing things up. They're bringing in a new value menu and a bid to bring back customers. It's called the McValue, a budget-friendly menu showcasing popular $5 meal deal and a buy one, add one for a dollar feature. All right, Dan, McDonald's has had quite a few bad quarters. Uh, they're hoping this may bring, be bringing people back. We all know how expensive it is to eat out, even for fast Fast food. What do you make of this? Well, there's no question about the fact that fast food has certainly become overpriced, but that's not necessarily their fault. When you look at the rise of minimum wage and then the cost of product all brought on by inflation, it's become very, very difficult for these fast food chains. However, it, it also has the average at McDonald's, uh, the price of their food has gone up 40 percent over the last five years. That's a lot. So I think the McValue plan is something that's going to be welcomed and hopefully it'll work out for my beloved Golden Arches. Yeah, you like McDonald's, right? Is that I certainly what's do. What's your favorite thing on the menu? I love Big Macs. You love Big Macs. I've never had one. <laughs> I, it's like very weird, but I, I'm like a plain cheeseburger kind of girl, but their fries are amazing. So They are. All but right. you don't know what you're missing. Try it. I know. Back. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Dan Geltrude, thank you so much. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We don't see you. You too, Allie. And